a.m. So this morning I'm off to hit a cardio session. Last night was a rough night at home, so I didn't really close out the vlog. I have to really get better at doing outros, so I apologize for that. And this morning I just want to like get and do some cardio. I haven't done really morning cardio in a while. I mean, I did a cardio session with Jesse one morning, but other than that, I really haven't been doing it. But this morning I feel like I need to go and just clear my head and um, put my thoughts in the right direction and sort of like just sweat it out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do probably the Stairmaster because I did sprints yesterday. And um, I have a lot of work to get done. I lost internet connection, which is not cool. And there was like a really bad storm in the area. And I guess, I don't know what day I'll post this, but today is May 3rd. So if you guys heard about the storm on the news, that's what happened. So I lost my internet and I have to go find Wi-Fi because I have a lot of work to get done. All right, so I'm gonna bang out this cardio session and I will be back. Back from my cardio session, all sweaty and gross. I really need to like wash my hair because my hair is disgusting. And I had a really good cardio session. I mean, it actually called me while I was doing my cardio session and I cried during my cardio session, but it felt good to like cry it out and talk. And I was like plowing through cardio, like talking to him. And you know, like maybe that's how you get through it. And that's how you get through things sometimes. You just have to just talk it out and um, I stayed positive and I tried to explain like my situation and where he was coming from and we both sort of found this like common ground and, and then he called me a little bit after just to say that he loved me and I do appreciate him and um, of course he's done everything for me like throughout my whole life so he's always been there no matter what and no matter how much like we fight, get mad at each other, whatever, um, I know like in the back of my mind and, and like I always love like he's like my number one so um I just always like look to him for a lot of advice and a lot of things so that's why we always go head to head because I'm just always I feel like I rely on him a lot um and his opinion matters a lot to me so anyways not that you guys care but I just want to let you know that I normally in the past would have let situations like this drag out to days staying upset um, looking for excuses to stay mad, to stay silent, and there's just no way to go about things. How you do things, you have to do things that lift you out to make you feel better. So today I'm going to do my work. I'm going to get a cardio session. I'm going to put in a good leg workout tonight. I'm going to get some foil tonight. Um, you know, like just do things that make you happy. And that's the only way you'll get better is if you find something to do, respond positively. So if you give positivity, you'll get, get positive feedback get positivity back so I fully believe that 100% and um, I just want to share that with you guys so maybe this could help you through a situation um, again don't let it drag out just deal with it right there and then and move on from it and try to think of a better way to, to make things better so always look to a positive way to respond to things and I'm telling you it'll just make your whole day. I'm not going to waste time like being upset or dry anything out. So yeah. All right. So I'm going to go take a shower, eat some pancakes and get this day started guys. Guys, look how strong my pancake game is. This is one serving guys. One gram of carb. And my Better Oats Oatfit just came out of the mic. I like it nice and thick. I don't put too much water and I add some cinnamon to it. So yeah. Oh, and I just started using this butter canola oil spray. It smells really good and it tastes good. So if you guys um, have a Trader Joe's near you, give this a try. And I have to clean my hands. I see I have some pancake mix on my hands. But yeah, just want to show you guys like how much volume pancakes are. The final product. Such a beauty. So we just got back from the gym, look a mess. We had a great workout. I did a front squat of 135, 45 plus 90. Yeah, 135. And that was my first time ever doing 135 front squats. So I felt freaking awesome. If you see me on Snapchat, you can see how embarrassing my face looks. But it's all good, fam, because it doesn't matter how you look. You just gotta get the weight up and you gotta work hard. All right, I'm gonna make a post-workout shake and then we're gonna eat dinner and get Froyo.
<laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna snap this. Round two of this thickness. And then I'm gonna add this puffed cereal to it. It's only got 11 grams of carbs per serving, so that's pretty bomb. I don't even use all the serving, to be honest, because it's way too much. 15 grams. One gram. Like, how can I put 15 grams? There's no way. There's no way. I will put. Eight. <laughs> Alright, 10 grams. 15 grams is a serving, but again, it's too much, overflows, and I'm not trying to overflow it. So that's my first workout shake. Alright, so tonight's dinner is a colorful bowl of hell. Look how pretty it is. I have this avocado, and it's always good to have at least one ounce of avocado every day. You can lose up to two pounds of water weight just by eating an avocado consecutively for four days in a row. So I always include avocado on top of my salads. And then of course I'm having salmon, and we're getting fried tonight, so I've been hoarding macros all day for it. But of course, you always have to have your micros before you eat your macros. You gotta get on the level, Dad. Where you been? Yeah. Where well, you been? It's not like you're going in two minutes. Yeah, but I, we, we want to be there. We want to be there. You no, know, I said, Mommy said she feels bad. They're cleaning up. But I said they got a half an hour. They want to get out early. Did they get out early? No, I'm just kidding. Alright, so I showed my Snapchat, but I want to show you guys how I tracked my fitness pal and why isn't this focusing. Come on camera, you can do this. Here we go. So I have my French vanilla yogurt, 10 ounces. I have my animal crackers, I only had a few of them, some sprinkles. And I had a sugar-free caramel on top, so this was the macros for the entire ice cream and I still have macros left over for tonight. I'm 15, almost 15 grams under on protein. I'm 10 grams under on fat and I am about like 50 grams under on carbs. I carported for today but I carported a little bit too much. So I'm gonna eat some popcorn and something else. So we'll see what I eat. And that is what I had today. I just FaceTimed with my coach Paul. It was awesome to get a chance to see him one on one and it makes me feel a lot more comfortable the fact that I can like talk to him and feel like I am with him and he made me feel a lot more comfortable about when I'm starting prep and the schedule and like how things are gonna be running. So I'm really excited to get prep started and share that with you guys and 
explain my journey through prep and getting back on stage. So it put me in a really great mood for tonight. I had a good day. All right, so I still have macros left to spare and I'm having 28 grams of the kettle popcorn and 30 grams of Icon Meals vanilla peanut butter popcorn. So good. I love you all, so good night.